Now, we've seen some of the industry partners building on top of Open Social. You might be wondering, what about Google? Will Google take its own products and use Open Social? You better believe it. To show you what we're doing initially, I'd like to invite up Amar Gandhi. Amar, why don't you show us? Hi, um, Amar Gandhi. I'm the product manager on Orchid. And uh, I'm still wearing my uh, Halloween costume. I dressed up as an Orchid user. I'm an Indian guy wearing a Brazilian soccer jersey. Um, representing two of the countries where Orchid is absolutely huge. Now, when we talk to our users, uh, they tell us the same thing over and over again. They want more, more, more. Um, all of their friends are already on Orchid. So what they want to do is want to do even more things with them. They want to plan parties. They want to share their rich status. They want to share like, you know, new movies and songs and uh, news that they discovered. And they want to find out what all of their friends and communities are doing on Orchid. Now, Orchid is a small engineering team. And we can't build all of this stuff fast enough. That's why I'm so excited about Open Social. Using Open Social, any developer, not only here in Silicon Valley in the US, but also in India, in Brazil, and around the world, they can build applications with the same level of UI and data integration as native applications built by Orchid engineers. So I want to show you a couple of examples of real apps running in an Orchid sandbox. The Orchid sandbox is a separate version of the Orchid site built so that developers can come and build and test their applications. So the first application I'm going to shout out with is called Emote, and it's built by a company here called Rockhue. Can we switch over to the laptop, please? OK, here we go. Um, so here, what you see is Emote, an application um, can insert a gadget right on the profile page. So I can actually uh, you know, communicate my status. Um, so now, anytime my friends come and visit my profile, they can actually see what my status is. Now, for deeper UI integration, an application also gets a full page canvas page. So here, um, I have a wide array of emoticons and pictures that I can use to uh, update my status. So I can update my status to say I am feeling social. Now, when I click this emote button here, two things will happen. First, my profile gadget will update on my profile page right away. The second thing will happen is this application can write to the Activity Stream API and update my status so that all of my friends get this information via this broadcast mechanism. So that's very cool. Um, using the friend graph, the application can also show me at a glance how all of my other friends are interacting in this application as well. So I can, at a glance, see what all my friends are doing. So very quickly, what you see here is everything that the app needed to integrate into the Orchid look and feel and into the UI uh, to access the friend graph and to access the activity stream. These are all APIs that are part of open social. And any application can achieve the same level of integration. Uh, I want to show you another example of an application. It's called Mapster. And it's built by Virtual Tourist. This is an application that lets me share, uh, you know, mark places around the world that I've been or would like to go visit. So, for example, I can come in here and say I want to go uh, visit Australia. And now, what's cool about this application is not only am I sharing this information with my friends, but the application can also show me other friends that have been to Australia. So next time I'm planning a trip, what a wonderful resource to now go ask my friends for tips and recommendations on what I should do there. Again, using the social graph, this application also can show me all the different pl places that my friends have been or would like to go. So next time I want to look for a travel buddy, I can come here and see all the interesting places that I can um, you know, hook up with my friends and do real things in my offline world using this wonderful resource that I have, which is a social network. Um, on Orchid. So um, everything that I've showed you so far is live apps running on live code. And over the last uh, few weeks, developers such as uh, RockU, Virtual Tourist, PhotoFlexer, Slide, etc., have been building real applications on the Orchid sandbox. And I'm really excited to announce today that tonight um, the Orchid sandbox will be open to an even larger number of developers to build even a wider array of applications. 
And uh, one final plug for, uh, no, not a plug, but just a thank you to all of our users in India and Brazil. We love you. Thank you, Amar. Thank you very much. Let's keep the demonstrations going. I'd like to invite up Holly, uh, Ali and Hadi Partovi from I Like. If you're wondering which one is which, Ali is the one with more hair. Thank you, guys. How are you doing, everybody? Um, if you're wondering who the greatest winner in all of this today is, it's us, it's I Like. Because, uh, seriously, because in our, in our goal to bring music everywhere on the internet, we already intended to build I Like on Orchid, I Like on High Five, I Like on Ning, I Like on MySpace. And thanks to Google, they've made it extremely easy for us to do that by building something once and having it just work in all of those environments. And so ours is going to be the one demo that shows the same application that we had to build only once running in each of those different environments. In each case, we're going to start from um, a user's profile page in Orkut, in High Five, in Ning, but then we're going to branch off and show some of the different uh, features of that application to, uh, to show off the, the rich depth of what we've been able to build, not just in terms of the gadget, but also the, all the underlying functionality behind it. So we're going to start by going to a page on, uh, on dub pages. This is a, uh, one of the subnetworks within Ning. And you can see here the I Like gadget um, that shows the playlist uh, of this person's favorite music. And you can click and play any song. And what's neat is when you click play, it expands using standard DHTML and JavaScript. The song starts playing. All of this is running on standard HTML and uh, JavaScript. The same stuff that we use to build our own website automatically just worked here. Um, now we're going to click on Add Song and show you something that you can't do in any other type of environment, where right within the page, when you click to add song, a search box expanded. When you do the search, the search results all come up in line. And you can sample the song that comes up in line and add it to your profile. And you see the new song has been added right above it. And you click hide and the search box collapses. All of that without a single page navigation. Essentially, the message here is, A, we've brought music into an environment that did not have music before. B, we've done it in a way that we were able to reuse all the same tools we already used, and see the end user gets this really rich functionality without even having to navigate away from a single page. So to show the same stuff in the other environments, I'm going to pass over to my twin brother, Hadi. So let's pretend I'm the same gadget, but right running inside a different social network. We're going to switch to a high five, and this is my profile within high five. If you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you can see it's on my profile. If you scroll down to the bottom, you can see my songs. It's not scrolling. Sorry. Here we go. Here we are. Uh, these are my songs. It's the same playlist within uh, my page. It's the exact same gadget. We're not going to go through the demo of playing a song. Well, we might. Uh, but this part works exactly the same. If we switch back, actually, to my High Five homepage, we'll show some of the other benefits that the open social platform provides to a company like I Like wanting to expand music throughout multiple websites. So this shows my, my High Five home. In the middle section is sort of a feed of what's going on among my friends. In the right-hand side of the page, you can notice there's a gadget that shows the activity among my artists. So here you can see Incubus posted a bulletin. And this artist, this is a real live artist that is one of the hundreds of thousands of artists on the I Like system. They went to their I Like dashboard, and this is live. They posted a bulletin about the new Incubus DVD, and it goes to all of their fans on I Like. They don't need to worry about whether there's open social or whatnot. It showed up in this High Five user's uh, home dashboard. Among my friends, you can also see the open social enables social activity among friends to get published. You can see Lou added music to his profile, and you can click this link to see, see all of my friends' music. And then this comes into a full Canvas page where I can see all the music that my friends are listening to. So Linda is listening to In the End by Linkin Park, and I can sample her music as well. So now we'll switch back to Ali showing additional features of I Like running within the Orkut environment. So this next page is Orkut. And the beginning, again, the same. We're looking at a profile page. And it has the same familiar I Like playlist with some of the same functionality where you can add music and so on all in line. Um, and it's just amazing that we were able to build this in such a short period of time reusing the same code. 
One thing I'm going to show to further illustrate the richness of what we've got here, if you click on any artist name, um, it'll take you from this profile page into the I Like Canvas page, running within Orkut to see that artist's profile. I Like has over half a million artist profiles, and now all of those artists automatically are going to have presences within Orkut, within Ning, within High Five, within any, uh, any network that uh, embraces open social. And the benefit to us is huge, but the benefit to the artist is even greater because the artist can now, from a single uh, dashboard, put up music, put up music videos, announce a concert, and reach a vast community of fans across all these disparate places. This is the Katie Tunstall profile. Katie Tunstall is, as you may know, one of the hottest artists today. And she's released the music video for her new single exclusively through us uh, two weeks prior to its broad release on iTunes. And you can, the fans can play and see that video right here. Um, if you look through this page, artists are announcing their concerts, they're announcing their new releases, they're putting up their songs all through us. And thanks to Open Social, getting them distributed all over the internet. And uh, I like just turned one year old last week, and we've, uh, we also registered our 15 millionth uh, user last week. We're really excited because Open Social opens up now, thanks to the inclusion of MySpace, an audience of over 200 million people. And uh, we're looking forward to our second year and seeing how many of those users we can sign up to I like.